Hello guys, welcome back to my second video. Uh, here we will use already downloaded files and try to create some sense out of all the data. So let's get started. I'll start with uh, terminal and I will start Jupyter Netbook or IPython Netbook. I'll directly go to the program which I have already written. This is we will process the downloaded files and then plot some graphs. So uh, I know that we have downloaded so many files. Uh, there are um, many files, but then when we are going to combine all these files together there has to be some identifier which says that this particular, this number of rows are from this particular file. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to append one more column in the beginning here, which says this particular file or these many rows were from Soybean April 2004. So what I'm going to do simply is, I'm going to take the name of the file Truncate the extension, add a column, and we are going to add this soybean underscore April underscore 2004 as its values. So let's see how it can be done. I go to my program. These are some of the declares, variables that we are going to declare. And this is the function what we are going to see. Where it takes the input of the directory name, the file name, and it's going to attach it to the file. So adding a column to the file name. What we want to do is we want to get list of all the files in a particular directory for that particular extension. So for example, if my file or if my directory is going to have three different types of files, .csv, .txt, and .html. And what I want to do is I want to just process .csv files. So with, I'm going to pass on the name of the directory and pass on the extension as .csv here, and it will give me the list of all the files with that particular extension. Okay. So here we have got the in my list I have got all the list of files and the, here the extension I have already defined here as dot csv. So if I have a look at let's say the uh, escape or I'm going to have cell type as code and say my list it has listed me all the CSV files. Can you see that? But I think we don't need it. I'll just remove it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it for all the files in my list, adding a column from the file name. Can you see the speed of Python? It has processed all the files and now we can go and see what has happened to our file. You can see that expire, it has added a new column named expiry date with the value soybean underscore april underscore. It's, it has not only done it for this, but almost all the files. So we'll choose another one randomly. Yeah, you can see that expiry date, so I've been underscore October underscore 2010. Perfect. So the files are ready now to be combined together and put it into a data frame. So what we are going to do is we are going to manipulate, we are going to input all these files together into a data frame, and then we are going to play around with data frame. 
so let's say let's go ahead so what we are going to do is we are going to read file by file into uh, data frame and then we are going to put data frame into an array and then we are going to concatenate uh, the complete array of data frames so this is the code what we are going to do is we are going to add them together and what we are going to have is one final data frame named result here it is just remember that we are going to have our matplot in line we because this particular code of line will plot the plots matplotlib on the on this page rather than outside this page so let's i have written the code for almost all the uh, months but then we are going to specially do it only for december so what this particular thing will do is it will slice the complete data frame of result into a particular uh, chunk where the expiry date is going to start with soybean underscore dec so it will take everything that is for december 2004 2005 so on and so forth until 2015 so okay just to see how does soy underscore dec look like see it has taken anything and everything that starts with soybean underscore dec because it's 2004 and 2005 so on and so forth until 2015 so here that was the idea we in initially individually did it for each month and then we put together and then we have everything that is for 2000 for soybean december and i'll come back to you uh, how does it make sense for us and what i'm going to do is from this particular data we are going to do a pivot table okay about let's see how does pivot look like so this particular code is the real magic of python programming i mean all that the homework and manipulation of data and csv files and data frame all that we did so that this particular code can be executed so what this particular thing did is basically it transformed all our column values so i been december 15 so i been december 14 so i been december blah 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 until 2004 and t into Uh, each column so can you see so i've been december 4 5 6 7 8 9 up to 15 and it has put these values accordingly so wherever there was no value it has put no any value and using this data we are going to plot graph We'll just see how does it look like okay sorry for that it looks okay to me now okay let's go ahead and plot the graph wow and that is the magic so this is the days we can say this is and this is the price of soybean so roughly we can say that this is 1st of june this is 31st of december and we can roughly say that somewhere around 90th day historically from the day when soybean started selling in the december future somewhere on the 90th day that means june july august somewhere on 10th or 15th of august the prices have always started going up so we can not 
it's not a thumb rule, but we can roughly say that irrespective of what the price, the prices will start going up somewhere in middle of August, and then again it will come down by beginning of December or so. I mean, we can do it for anything. We can do it for each month of soybean, or we can do it for any other commodity, uh, maybe gold, silver, blah, 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 just to see uh, you know, it's dependency on time of the year because a soybean is an agricultural commodity and we know for a fact that it is plowed almost, you know, every year it is plowed in a specific month and we know when it is harvested, we know when the production is high, when the production is low, when the demands are high and when the demands are low. Um, if you really liked it, uh, you can reach me by mail, by Twitter, uh, or by GitHub. Uh, everywhere you can just type in for Maswadkar, M-A-S-W-A-D-K-A-R, and you can reach me for more information. Thank you very much for uh, having a look into my video. If you have any specific requirement or any questions, uh, get in touch with me. I'm not an expert, I'm just a hobbyist, so maybe uh, if you want to build something, if you want to have some projects done together with me. I'm really open to it. Uh, thanks again, and see you later. Bye. Off with the same. Ciao.